So it's been over a month since the anime was put on hold and I'm starting to have withdrawals. I haven't gone this long without new Pokemon anime related stuff since I was born and now all we're left to do is speculate on the future of this series. This whole hiatus thing happened at the worst possible time too because it left us with anticipation on Ash's latest capture, Riolu. I covered this about a month ago, but there was something one of my commenters said that I didn't bring up in that video, so now I'm following it up with another Riolu focused topic. Today we're going to be discussing a separate Ash Lucario form than the three I detailed, so make sure to watch that video after this so you can see all the speculation I have to offer. Ash's Riolu is going to probably be his ace for the series, let's be honest. The way they showed it in episode 21 was extremely reminiscent of how they built up Pokemon like Infernape, or more similarly, Ash Greninja. The way Ash and Riolu had an instant connection really leads me to believe that there will be some sort of ability or form, and really, besides black and white, Ash has pretty much had a distinguishable form or ability for his ace Pokemon. Pokemon. Infernape had Blaze, Greninja had the Battle Bond ability, and Lycanroc Dust Form and 10 million volt Thunderbolt were literally created for the anime, so unless they break that trend in Pokemon Journeys, I think we're probably gonna get some sort of new Lucario form or move. So anyway, this new form is likely gonna be similar to Mega Evolution and Bond Evolution, but instead it's gonna be called Aura Evolution. Basically, this is tying into Ash's natural connection to the same sort of aura that Riolu and Lucario use. I mean, we've seen this heavily in the 8th Pokemon movie when Ash was able to wake Lucario Lucario from its generational sleep because of his similar aura patterns to Sir Aaron. Not only that, but Ash was strong enough with his aura that he was able to help save the Tree of Beginning, which is no small feat. Honestly, if you haven't seen Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, do yourself a favor and watch it. It's probably the best Pokemon movie, and there are a lot of things I could spoil, but watch it and you'll easily understand this video a lot more. Later in the series, Ash was able to use Aura again to seal away a spirit tomb, and he had an instant connection with the Riolu and the Pokemon Ranger tie-in episodes. He then is able to sense and communicate with that very Riolu throughout the two-parter. And obviously, most recently in the 21st episode, Ash's instant ability to sense his Riolu's Aura, and the fact that Riolu literally hatched so that Ash could be his trainer, it's all clearly culminating to something big, and I'm pretty excited for it. I suspect we'll see foreshadowing to this later on in the upcoming episodes where Ash is going to be battling Karina in a double battle. There's almost absolutely no reason that they would have Karina, a Mega Lucario trainer, reappear in this series if they weren't going to have some sort of Riolu development. So I definitely can see Ash using Riolu along with his Dragonite since it's going to be a double battle based on the scans released not too long ago. This is probably going to work in a similar way to how Ash's Pikachu Gigantamax against Leon. It'll just kind of happen when they get momentum. Of course, like with all forms, they'll have trouble controlling it, there will be tough times attempting to get an anchor on the form, but once they do, we're going to see something really epic. So yeah, they probably aren't going to do a repeat battle bond, so I definitely expect to see aura-based evolution in Pokemon Journeys, and if this happens, we're in for probably one of the most hyped Pokemon Ash Ketchum will ever have. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss my next one. Comment your thoughts on Ash's Riolu and its potential forms, and with all of that out of the way, my name is Zoro, and I bid you adieu.